Hardness is another attribute of a brush or a stroke that you need to be aware of um, because you either want to have a hard edge or a soft edge or something in between and the result of having a hard or a soft edge to your brush is going to be different. And so if I just paint right now, I have a paintbrush and it has particular settings and if you look at it, you can kind of look at the, the attributes of the line. Um, it starts and it ends with a little bit of a fade here and then it has a hard edge to it. It's not blurry on the outside and it's quite thick. If you want to change the appearance of the edge or the outline of your stroke or the line that you're drawing, you need to adjust the hardness settings. And so we can do that by launching the brush panel from the options bar like we did for the size. And right now it's set to 100% hard. If we make it 100% or 0% hard, it's basically 100% soft. And you can see as you paint, you'll have a nice feathered edge to whatever you're trying to create. Let's switch the color so that you can see what I'm painting. You can also, whoops, you can also change it to something in between. It doesn't have to be 100% hard or 100% soft. You can put it in the middle at 50% and you can see that you have a slight haze on the edge of your shape. You can also adjust this via the brush panel. And so if you launch the brush panel, you'll see that there is a hardness setting in there as well. Depending on what brush and texture that you have, you're going to get a different look. Um, and sometimes it's, it's better to have a hard edge, sometimes it's better to have a soft edge. And one of the things that you could use this for, I'm going to erase what's on my workspace here. Let's do Command or Control A to select all, hit the delete key and then fill it with white. Um, if you have an image that is open and you want to erase part of the image, and let's say that I'm going to use this one here and I want to erase the background and just keep the front mountain. If you switch to the eraser tool, which is this tool right here, you get a brush on the eraser tool and so you can change the brush hardness to be 100% hard and when you erase you're creating a hard edge let's make sure that the opacity is 100% you're erasing straight through the image and you're getting a hard edge to whatever you're doing if I tried to erase around the mountain it would create a hard edge and it might not do exactly what I'm looking for it to do and it won't look let's say natural let's undo those changes. If I change the brush to have a soft edge, let's say 100% uh, soft or 0% hard, as you brush around the shape you're going to get a soft edge and it might be easier to erase part of the background that you don't want by painting. But can you see how if it's too soft you're going to start erasing part of the image without getting rid of the background? And so you may want to consider that and now we can just go through and erase all the background. And that's one way where you can get rid of something by not using a brush or the paintbrush, but you could use a different tool. You can get closer to the edge of your shape by kind of having a happy medium. You could have a medium hard brush, and then as you come through, you can get more of the background to erase without having to have such kind of a blurry edge to your, to your document.